day wednesday everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today the day you are seeing this it is wednesday january 31st i am so excited because registration has opened to the list everybody who was on the list and spots are filling up i am so super excited about that but more on that uh coming soon um let me uh address this real quick why i decided to record this video on the day i had to go to the dentist my mouth is numb so if it looked like i'm talking weird i am um i had my um permanent crown put in and um yeah my, my mouth is swollen and so i'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible so i can take me in a leave and lay down um, <laughs> take me a nap uh or at least rest and do some computer work but anyway this is the review for nomi 2007 thank you all again this was the, the subscriber pick uh this is the pattern and focus for those who are new to the channel i um, focus on the commercial pattern company every quarter and so the first quarter of 2024 is all nomi patterns at the usually the last wednesday uh the day that you you will be seeing this i will have a vote up for the following month i'm not doing that for february i will have you select two for the month of march because february is all bhm pattern designers and so and by the way this is a black pattern designer so and it's an easy so but we will get into that um in a moment let me also say this starting february 1st obviously is bhm pattern designers please click the link down below this is the sixth year we are supporting um black pattern designers shopping their shops all of that good stuff there will be um the day you're seeing this i should have the discount codes for some of the sponsors that share discount codes i will have that up on the website you can see that but i on february 1st or um yeah usually february 1st i start sharing all of the discount codes but you can't go see that over on the website right now if you want for those who did offer some discount codes um for just the month of february and um so make sure you check that out but the one thing i do want to say and um then i'll switch to the review you will get a lot of me in the month of february this year i have decided to go lot you will get a long form or a short form video you might even get a live maybe um every single day the month of february so yes i'm gonna mess up the algorithm for my channel all of that during the month of february you will get uploaded videos at their regular scheduled time every sunday and wednesday 10 a.m central standard time all the other days it will be random times <laughs> probably unless it's another long form video which i will have a long form video for you february 1st which is tomorrow i'm trying to think ahead which is tomorrow a good long form video you do not want to miss that it is a awesome collaboration um that i'm doing and yeah i, I go into all of that on tomorrow so starting February 1st through February 29th, you will get long form and short form, maybe a live from me. Every single day, you're gonna get one of those types of content from me in honor of BHM Pattern Designer Sewing Challenge. And so, yes, I am super excited about it, but let's go ahead and get to this review so I can go relax. <laughs> but anyway, so, this is Nomi2007. Yes, I am on the late show. Many people have made this. You can follow the hashtag over on Instagram and see everybody's makes and everything. The one thing that was always consistent that I love that everybody said, even reviews I've seen here on YouTube, is that it is an easy make. And it really is easy. So if you're looking for, because you know you could have prepped your projects for BHM pattern designers, but there was no sewing, no stitching. It's all on the honor system. Don't forget, you have to tag both Sew Natural Dane and tag 
at BHM Pattern Designers plus use the hashtag BHM Pattern Designers. And so people can follow the hashtag so people can see what people are doing behind the scenes and all of that good stuff. So um, yeah, this will be a good one to, um, to do. I highly encourage it. Let me just tell you real quick what um, the version that I made. I made a uh, version B, but I did the cuffs from version A. Um, version B has the longer uh, cuff that you put on with the ribbing. I knew I wouldn't like that look on me. So I did the shorter cup and I do like that. I like how that looks. I went out, you'll see pictures and video pop up. I went out with friends. The, the restaurant, because it was raining so much, we were gonna, you know, I was gonna try to go somewhere else to take the pictures, but it was raining so bad that day we could only take pictures in the restaurant while we were out. I was like, you mind taking pictures? Of course, they didn't mind. And so we did the best we could. Couldn't really crop much of the tables and chairs because the space wasn't really set up like that but that's okay you will i've already worn her out and absolutely love it very very comfortable the size packet i have is size 18 through 26 and for me i made a size 22 based on the finished garment measurements that was the best size. I love the fact that these are grown on sleeves you don't have to worry about setting in sleeves the only thing you're doing is really um so far as the working with the ribbing is and i would say because this is that fabric i got from um uh who was this fabric mark both the ribbing and the main fabric and this and as you can tell this is a uh it's a uh and i'll bring it up closer because i did share it in my haul this is a lightweight knit it's not heavy so for me this is something i can wear pushing up to you know maybe 80 degrees and I can still get away with wearing this without tights. So when you see the pictures and stuff, I have on tights and everything like that. But, um, and I did not have to wear anything underneath it. Uh, it there is a tank underneath here, but that's just because of the uh, dress form. Um, and the ribbing in the front really is just all about matching up the zipper front, making sure your seams are matching in the front. I'll share, show, show that to you in a moment. Um, the zipper I use is more of, I will call it more of a sports style zipper. It's not a uh, metal zipper. I had the zipper in my stash from, um, Fabric Wholesale Direct because I ordered a few different zippers when I was working on those coats. If you saw my videos towards the end of 2023, I made a few coats, one for my husband, a couple for me. And so I ordered extra zippers at that time. I'm glad I did. Um, and so it ended up working cause that worked perfectly for this, um, for this dress. Um, one thing I did want to point out, uh, well, two things. It's a total of 10 pieces. The time it took me to make this, it was made in a day. I mean, maybe four to four to five hours. And that's me stopping and starting and doing, you know, breaking and everything in between. It's not a long mate. You can, the interesting thing about the instructions, I thought it doesn't tell you to finish seams. And maybe because they want this to be more of a, it was meant to be more beginner friendly. So people don't have a serger. But even having said that, typically I've seen in patterns where it says if you don't have a surge, you just do a zigzag stitch on the end. And this is knit. That could also be another reason why it wasn't mentioned to finish off the seams on the inside. But I did. I finished all my seams with the serger on the inside. But you can use a zigzag stitch too if you don't have a serger. And so, um, yeah, the other thing, I forgot if it was Cherie thomas or creativity uh by t talisha that mentioned how low the pockets were and i do think the pockets are a little low on this it's it's kind of almost like oh they way down here when the, you feel like they should be a little higher so that is one thing i would change is i would probably take the pocket all the way up to where the um center piece starts as opposed to i think it's starting maybe two three inches down it doesn't need to start that low it can start right up underneath uh that ribbing right there in the middle at least that's what i think um for my next one because i could definitely see me making this again it's really easy and it's so super comfortable uh to wear there weren't any other the instruction i mean the instructions are only one page so you you're not struggling 
um, to get through any instructions or to finish anything off. When I say it is easy because you don't have to set in any sleeves or anything like that. I like how I styled it. Let me pop up some pictures here. Um, I like how I styled it very simple again we were I was meeting some friends for dinner and so the restaurant we went to and everything like that I just threw up had on some tights some shoes I had to get different shoes if you saw the shoes I purchased from Walmart you guys I cannot do inexpensive shoes I end up donating those shoes <laughs> when I was donating all those clothes and everything if you saw that video I donated the shoes right away because they were hurting my feet so I end up going to DSW my fallback to get more comfortable shoes to wear um, so I can have shoes to, uh, to wear with this here um, but I love the way it turned out I love the styling um, of this I'm gonna bring you up closer so you can kind of see what I'm saying about the ribbing um, in the front okay so I just wanted to show you the necklace I wore absolutely love this necklace I found it at forever 21 it's like this looks like you know diamond on one side obviously that's fake but <laughs> and it flips over um, but anyway that was so cute um, and so like I said with the zipper you're just making sure I want to give you a close-up of the sport zipper and you just want to make sure your seams are meeting you know where you you're inserting your zipper but yes this here I just love the drape of this it's not heavy and um, the way I wore it like I said was with some tights and yeah absolutely love it it. so yeah that is it that is the review i highly recommend hey black pattern designer you have this pattern go ahead and make it up it is super easy you really can't play with uh your different type of fabrics if you have different ribbing and everything like that um i wanted something more neutral in my closet you all know i love color i love me some color that's not never changing but i was like okay let me do something a little bit more neutral but i didn't want to do black that's just not my necessarily my thing but I like this like charcoal uh, gray color very nice very very nice so let me know what you think um, how it turned out and everything down in the comment section stay tuned again starting February 1st actually Thursday February 1st Friday February 2nd will be long form videos and those will when I do my long form videos those will still show up at 10 a.m central standard time but when i do a reel or a short or you know something like that um there's no telling what time that's gonna pop up i mean <laughs> we shall see um but anyway if you have not subscribed definitely subscribe don't forget to thumbs up this video and let me know are you participating in bhm pattern designer sewing challenge this year it kicks off february 1st i hope you have been preparing and that you are ready you all know i have a ton of videos i have a whole playlist i'll let that pop up at the end of this video of bhm pattern designers previous winners entries all of that good stuff all of the information on the website but the link to bhm pattern designers will be down below you'll be able to see the discount codes and um, everything else that I am working on and so yeah all right everybody that is it I'm gonna get off of here so I can go take a load off you all have a blessed blessed rest of your week and let's get going for February 1st BHM pattern designers bye